how's it going friends? Just a quick update on the idea I had in the last photography vlog where I talked about doing the, the video and the photo in black and white. Uh, and I wanted to elaborate a little bit on that, a little bit more on that. So I want to actually shoot with the camera in black and white. And that does not mean you have to shoot in JPEG. No matter what camera you have, if you're shooting raw, you can select monochrome or black and white as a picture profile. And when you do, while you're shooting RAW, you have to make sure you're not shooting JPEG or you can shoot RAW and JPEG. But when you do, this is on a Canon camera, but it applies across the board uh, where you select your, your profile. So you just select your monochrome or black and white profile. And officially, now when you hold your eye up to the viewfinder in a mirrorless camera or when you're using the back LCD on a DSLR, you're officially shooting in black and white. Now I realized back in the day shooting film that we did not see in black and white to get the black and white images. This is where the edge of the modern cameras come in because you can actually see your contrast and shadows and your highlights and everything how they're all pulled together at least an approximation in monochrome versus seeing them in real life. So you have an added edge where you can actually see so you can frame things up and get exactly how you want it uh, before editing. So I'm not 100% sure whether or not I'm overcomplicating this. Uh, for a pro or an advanced photographer, obviously this is a no-brainer and you already knew this, but for the beginner photographer, all this means is you're shooting raw so you get all your information when you're editing and then yes you'll be throwing out the color information but when you're in lightroom or whatever editing program you're using you still retain more quality because you're selectively uh, adjusting your colors that went into that photo to make black and white and i'll probably show this on a tutorial afterwards hopefully uh, because there, there is a big difference in shooting JPEG black and white and shooting raw and then making it black and white, converting it later because you can get more out of it. You can get more contrast. I myself, I like a really deep, like to, I like to have my shadows nice and deep and that's uh, probably my favorite thing about black and white. But then just all the tones that you get in black and white, uh, the best way to do it is to shoot raw first. So I'm not saying shoot JPEG. I'm hoping that message gets across. I'm saying use a black and white picture profile and you're seeing what you're going to get and an approximation of what you're going to get when you edit that image. So you're seeing in black and white and it teaches your brain to see in black and white. So that's all I have for now. Like I said, I'm going to be working on this photo vlog in black and white and it's pretty exciting to me. Uh, I'm probably gonna do several more just because it's an interesting concept that not only is the video black and white and you're seeing the photos in black and white, but I'm actually the photographic camera I'm seeing in black and white. And to me, this is just uh, really exciting. Uh, not that I hate color, I love color. I love messing with, with colors, but uh, every once in a while I get it on a kick with black and white and everything all of a sudden just looks better in black and white. So I'm really excited about this project and I'm hoping to show that to you guys really soon. So as usual, please subscribe and tell your friends and create, share, repeat, and keep it awesome. I'll see you next time.